Okay, hi everybody. We are back and uh, as you can see on the screen, there is a really crazy looking octopus. Um, I got a wild hair and decided to download Tom Cosm's uh, image to MIDI converter and it is, it's pretty hilarious. Uh, it takes forever to scan an image as it has to go each note line pass by pass, but you know, after about 30 minutes, you can end up with something fun like this. So you're wondering why the heck would you do that? Well, maybe you want to have, uh, I don't know, your signature in a song if you want to share that out or who knows. Um, but we're going to play with this octopus today and I'm going to show some um, fun ways to sort of filter notes and um, deal with um, a bunch of crazy MIDI notes right like that. So also, I want to introduce a new uh, new Max for Live patch that I'd worked on. It took me a little while to release this one. I just, I don't know, I got kind of sidetracked with vacationing. And um, anyway, so this is a step mapper. And let's just take a look. It's got four lanes. And just a quick uh, overview. You can um, set the lanes uh, all to be different and have just slightly different timings and it is um, timing aligned with the transport, of course, and you've got all these little functions for each. The one I like in particular is the random button, and you can map to anything with this. So, all right, we will get down to it. First of all, let's drop in an operator, and um, if I hit play on this, this octopus, uh, we won't hear anything, you know, unless I speed things up. We can also, let's see here, we can, um, uh, we can divide that so it, you know, goes a lot faster there. Okay, so that's obviously nuts. I don't even think the polyphony on this operator is uh, made to handle that many notes. So I'm gonna drop in a rack that I made a long time ago for a generative music class. And this is um, essentially kind of what the uh, name of it implies. Um, so I can pull this down. Let's try this version. I think that other one was not quite... There we go. That other one was not working 100%. So this one is a little more... Kind of how we want. Okay. And I will, let's go ahead and save this MIDI note probability gate in our racks folder. This may already be in there. Uh, indeed, I dropped this in there. Great. So let's go ahead and get a scale going. And I love this MIDI effect. Let's find a preset here. Maybe Dorian or... And what we can do is we can group this. Right now we got all the octaves going crazy. Um, so let's uh, open up the key section and we can, we can drag this down to just one octave if we want. This will further um, limit the probability since all the notes outside this range are not going to play. All right. So great. Now we got this like nice 8-bit sounding, uh, <laughs> I don't know, sounds like old video game music to me. Uh, let's get this mapping here. And let's play with the probability a little more. And let's also map to, I'm just going to hit the random button on all of these. And we can set the, uh, you know, as always, the range for the mapping. Cool. Let's get some audio effects in there because I am a sucker for using way too many audio effects. Um, green delay is always a good go-to. Let's map this to frequency, see what happens. It may be a little too crazy. You never know until you try. I always think it's good to just start, you know, 
turn a knob, seeing what happens. Let's also bring in our rack that lets us shift the octaves, MIDI octave shifter, and put this before the operator. And what I'm going to do is bring in another step looper. We can have as many of these as we want. Of course, there's also an audio version of the step looper, so, you know, we can... Um, we can play with that here in a little bit. There we go. Now let's... Well, I'm going to try something here I hadn't thought of before. I hadn't, when I was testing this, I never thought to try to map the... Ah, very nice. So we can hit the random here, and we've got different links on that one mapped based on this mapper. So we can have two mappers kind of cross-enter... Um, you know, influencing each other, which can get really strange, especially if we want to map from here to here. And we can change the uh, the timings, we can add random, lots of randomness. Uh, it's essentially like four times the, uh, the basic step sequencer that you find in Max for Live, only this is more just like, um, you know, used for mapping different effects. And where's our scale? I think the um, we could also do something with the scale. We could have two different scales here. Um, let's duplicate this and have the scale in here be something different. I'm gonna mute this one. Let's go ahead and hide this. And let's just pick a different scale. And what we can do here is we can have two different chains so we can switch between the two different scales. Um, let me hit the map here. And I'm going to limit this to 0 and 1. And let's let's play with this knob and just have a look-see. Yes, okay. So obviously we don't hear anything from here because this one was muted. If we wanted to have an off state, we can just mute this one and go back to map click on that thing, change it to two. So now we can have this go between the two. Okay, so this first one is a little crazy. Um, let's hide that and pick a different one. I'm thinking just maybe just a basic major. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. <laughs> As we have most often difficulty doing here. Um, and then let's just pick a free lane and map it to here. I'm going to hit the random button. I'm going to just bring that in. So now this is jumping between the different scales and also the off stage. So as you can see really quickly, there's a lot of ways to get some strangeness happening. It sounds very classic sort of clinical uh, generative music at this point. But for demonstration purposes, I think you get the idea. And of course, as always, I think that I will, after uh, we're hitting stop record, I will go back through and um, further mess about with this sketch. I don't usually like to leave these in a state where they're just too boring or... Even though, for you guys, I think the idea is, uh, you know, show me how to do some interesting stuff, or maybe some of you it is like give me some interesting sketches to play with or digest or dissect after you're done. So now we've got this audio one. Let's audio pass through it. Let's go ahead and hit random there. Actually, I want to take this one out past the 16 mark. Cool. And maybe we'll get, uh, see what happens if we map to the wet and dry. I think that could be useful. Let's go ahead and hit the random there. And we have a, um, a glide or smooth we can, we can add. It doesn't always have to be like a hard jump. Yes. 
straight out of the 80s arcade. Yep, that is Galaga all the way right there. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, I think we're about good on demonstrating new step mapper as well as doing some MIDI uh, note filtering. And um, I'll put a link to Tom Cosm's image to MIDI Maker a patch in the description. So yeah, until next time, happy, happy experimenting.